Roll. Hey there, Internet. So here we are, Sundance, New Frontiers. I'm with my good friend. Bertie Ben Banaste. We're checking out a bunch of VR stuff today, and it just started to snow outside. It's beautiful. And, uh, yeah, let's go Let's go check out some cool VR stuff. Let's do it. Beautiful. I have to say, hands down, my favorite New Frontiers VR experience from 2020 was Scarecrow, which combines haptics with a live actor digitally recreated as a scarecrow. The experience was the closest thing to living in a dream you'll ever have, and I highly recommend it. It's best to know as little as possible before going into this experience, so no spoilers. I'll just talk a little bit about my enjoyment. It went from being charming and cute to frightening and heart racing, all within the span of a couple minutes. The feeling of heat in your hand was an added sensation. This is the kind of interactive experience everyone who goes to New Frontiers wants to have. My only criticism would be to have multiple booths to allow more people to experience it, as it quickly became the most talked about in book slot at New Frontiers. It took roughly six crew members to run the experience, and at the end of it, your face is superimposed into the experience, which is quite a trip and made me tear up a little bit. My second favorite VR experience at New Frontiers was Spaced Out. Here's a clip from right after diving in. So we just did Spaced Out, really cool underwater VR experience. My first underwater VR experience. First underwater VR experience. What, what did you think about it? It was incredible to float. Um, perception was, was warped and then things were flying up and down. And, and, and being in the pool was an incredible feeling. Yeah, very interesting. It was very surreal, the whole experience. Where, you know, things were moving forward and backward, and the whole idea is you're supposed to lay there on your belly, kind of just letting it go past you. And that, that was really, really cool. The company Ballista is based in San Francisco. They've offered other, you know, underwater experiences, but the first one I've done, and I think it's the first underwater VR experience at Sundance. So the first underwater film to show at Sundance. So think that. Wow. Some of the New Frontiers experiences didn't speak to me. And that's expected, that you wouldn't want to like everything that you try. Some felt more like set dressing without an inner meaning or deepness. Like Breathe, which looked beautiful from the outside, but was quite boring once you put on the headset. Overall, the best part about Sundance is the people you meet there. Everyone, whether at Sundance or the Indie Fest slam dance up the street, either works in film or cares deeply about storytelling. The VR experiences are some of the best in the world, and some only show in Park City. So if you go to Sundance, take your time and enjoy the ride. And of course, it wouldn't be Sundance unless we ran into a major celebrity like Will Ferrell. Did we just become best friends? Yup! You want to go do karate in the garage? Yup! So I want to give a special, special thanks to Eric I here for helping us out, getting us through the cool press stuff. She's doing an amazing job. Sundance, promote her to the highest position possible. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of the video. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Please, Please subscribe. subscribe. Check, Check out the next video. video. My friend from last year. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. He loves you. What is the deal? I think he smells like my cat on me. Oh, or your fear. Yeah, that too. I know the guy. And this guy's called? Um, Russell Crowe. Like, you know, like John Oliver. Is I'm not afraid of any other animals. John Oliver? John Oliver hates or makes fun of birds all the time. Do you think he would take my business card too? He'll probably do. You show the business card? Show the business card? There you go. All right. Scarecrow is interested. Oh. There you, go. you need to get closer for him to grab it.